Welcome, I'm Joe Dufour, your instructor for this iteration of Instructional Technology EDU 651. I'm going to be short and sweet here and just explain very quickly uh, what your course should look like. Let me switch to my student view. If you scroll down here, you're viewing the watch this first video, this house right here, but you'll notice underneath there that there's a whole slew of things. And right now, you don't even have week number one available to you. However, if I come back in here and turn that back on so that you can see it, this will make a lot more sense. Let's just take a second. There we go. Flip this switch on. And now, you will be able to see that, of course. And as you work your way down, we'll just pretend like you're in student view right now, you'll see there's an overview, there's steps to completion, there's learning materials, study resources, and activities and assessments for every single week. So as you come through here, the very first place you should stop after just briefly checking in with the overview about what the learning objectives are for the week is this steps to completion. And every single week has a series of steps that you can follow, one through ten in this case, with some special notes down at the bottom. And each of those steps will take you... Uh, obviously uh, just piece by piece through the week. But if you want a nice uh, printable version of this, because sometimes these web pages get a little bit ugly or a little bit cumbersome, if you click on this, that gives you a really nice clean PDF version of this steps completion. You can print it off, keep it at your side, and you can work your way through the week. Uh, steps tell you, for instance, in the first case here, to take a look at this video. Digital Education Foundation video, then read some of these uh, pieces down here, and then to participate in the discussion forums down here at the bottom, and the study resource in this case is just an extra piece for you to take a look at if needed. And then finally at the bottom, uh, later on in the week, this week one wrap-up will be revealed to you so that you could see it and see how you did and see how things progressed. Up here at the top of your class, you're going to find all the research library resources and research materials up here. These are great for getting started with uh, finding journals and articles later on in some of the weeks when I have you look up and find your own research pieces. But there's also great things from the librarians here. As well as down here are supporting documents like rubrics for the discussion forum. There will be paper rubrics and writing rubrics and project rubrics down here as well. These NETS standards I want you to take special note of though because they'll be used uh, continually and consistently throughout this class. So you have to return to these quite often. I would encourage you to just download them and have them at your disposal uh, all of the time. Up here you're going to find two more things that I want you to visit fairly often. One is the guiding sites. And all this is is a list of websites that I have found useful for finding terms, finding definitions, and getting great ideas about technology and digital education and I've given you rights to go in there and edit and contribute as well as we go through this and hopefully we'll have a great working list for everyone in this class by the time they walk out of here of great websites to use and great concepts to glean from. And then finally, there's this digital education glossary, which you'll see in week one step to completion. You will be contributing to repeatedly as you go through and work your way through this class. And so you'll be visiting this on a fairly regular basis. That's it for Instructional Technology, EDU 651, at least for now.